A giant asteroid is barreling towards Earth eight times faster than a speeding bullet, passing closer to us than the satellites that broadcast this very program. But what if it were on a crash course? Here's ABC's Neil Karlinski. On a sliding scale of things that can ruin your day, you may want to put this one at the top of the list. The asteroid, with the not-so-catchy name DA-14, is hurtling towards Earth right now at a rate eight times faster than a speeding bullet. And while it will miss, disaster won't be averted by much. It will graze the Earth's atmosphere Friday afternoon at about 17,000 miles out. Remember, all of those satellites out there that give us our global positioning, that tell our iPhone where we are, those are at 22,000 miles. So this is actually going to pass between the Earth and the satellites that give us our direct TV every day. That's a close shave. Hollywood loves this kind of thing. Exhibit A, Bruce Willis's Armageddon. But DA-14 and others like it are no joke. Which is why a trio of big brains from NASA, Apollo 9 astronaut Rusty Schweikert, space station astronaut Ed Liu, and bonafide rocket scientist Scott Hubbard have become the asteroid hunters, launching their own mission to find asteroids that are on a collision course with our world. This asteroid is important because it's a wake-up call that we should be looking out there. These things do hit the Earth. The last near disaster was averted by pure luck. It was 1908, and a huge asteroid made a direct hit, fortunately, into Tunguska, Siberia, where a thousand miles of trees and wildlife were decimated. Just imagine if the bullseye had been New York or Chicago. If a very large asteroid hit, and I'm talking about something that is miles across, then it would probably create the same kind of disaster that wiped out the dinosaurs. Amazingly, no one knew DA-14 was headed our way until a Spanish dentist and amateur astronomer randomly discovered this grainy proof a year ago. Of all of the asteroids that are out there that come near the Earth and that can do harm if they hit the Earth, we only know 1% now. 99% of them, we don't even know where they are. As anyone who's seen Star Wars knows, calculating the odds of getting hit by an asteroid is no small task. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. An asteroid this size actually hits the Earth in a typical person's lifetime, let's just say your lifetime, with about a 1 in 3, 1 in 4 chance. So, I've got a coin here. If I was to flip this twice, okay. and if I got heads twice, yeah. And there's another heads. Sorry, we got smacked. <laughs> the asteroid hunters are raising money to launch their own asteroid early warning system called Sentinel, a dedicated infrared space telescope scanning the stars for threats. So what if they find one on a collision course, then what? The movie Armageddon had an idea. There have been lots of movies, of course, <laughs> that say, oh yeah, we'll send uh, Bruce Willis and uh, we'll blow it up with an atomic bomb. Why don't we just send up 150 nuclear warheads and blast that rock apart? And that is the wrong answer. Never get your physics from Hollywood movies. <laughs> you only need to change the velocity of an asteroid by something like a millimeter per second. So to give you an example, that's about the speed that an ant crawls. The team says the solution is to run into a large asteroid or tug at it with a spaceship they call a space tractor, just to give it a little nudge. It's pretty big thinking for what seems like a far out problem. But when you've seen our planet from space, you apparently look at things in a completely different light. When you look at the Earth uh, from space and you begin to identify not just with your country or your continent, but with the whole Earth, you realize that this is such a precious place. It's not science fiction. These men believe their work is necessary to protect all of us. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Seattle.